Welcome back to Political News in Full. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi asserted that Egypt enjoys a modern integrated infrastructure system of facilities and services which provides a strong basis for establishing any development cooperation partnership. The president's remarks came during his meeting with visiting South Korean Defense Minister Su Wook. During the meeting, President el-Sisi hailed the strong relations linking the two countries, adding that Egypt desires to further advance bilateral ties with South Korea, especially in the military and defense fields. President Sisi asserted that the comprehensive cooperation will be activated as soon as possible in a way that suits the capabilities of the two friendly countries and supports Egypt's benefits from the development of experience of South Korea. For his part, the South Korean defense minister conveyed regards of the South Korean president to President Sisi and expressed his country's concern to enhance bilateral relations with Egypt in various domains in light of the development boom that Egypt witnessing under the leadership of President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi and the pivotal role Egypt plays in maintaining the region's security. Su also touched on working to consolidate the military and security matters as part of joint cooperation relations and said that his country is eager to invest further in Egypt's major developmental projects. The meeting also discussed joint manufacturing technology transfer and localization to support Egypt's responsibility to achieve stability, security and combat terrorism. Su Wook also revealed that the South Korean president is keen on visiting Cairo in the near future. Minister of Defense Mohammad Zaki received on Tuesday South Korean Defense Minister Su Wook where they discussed the latest developments on the international and regional arena and agreed to expand defense industry cooperation between the two sides. The meeting focused on issues of mutual concern as well as means of enhancing military cooperation fields as well as exchanging joint expertise. The meeting Zaki affirmed Egypt's pride in its well-established relations with the Republic of South Korea, pointing out his keenness on the importance of coordinating efforts and increasing the prospects for joint military cooperation between the two countries. The two ministers agreed further strengthen their cooperation down the road to achieve tangible outcomes in the defense industry. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi held a phone call with Zambia's new president, Hakindi Heshalima, to congratulate him on winning the presidential election. During the phone call, President Sisi stressed Egypt's keenness on supporting Zambia through boosting bilateral cooperation in various fields, especially investment and commercial exchange. For his part, President Heshalima expressed his gratitude for President el-Sisi as he hailed Egyptian-Zambian ties. Zambia's new president also praised Egyptian aid to his country during the coronavirus crisis. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli held a meeting on Tuesday to follow up on the implementation of historical Cairo projects. The meeting was attended by a number of ministers. During the meeting, Madbouli asserted the importance of these projects and continued following up of them by President El-Sisi. Madbouli asked consultants to speed up establishing housing buildings in damaged areas and reconstruction of archaeological areas. The president aimed at preserving the civilized appearance and regaining charm for historical Cairo. Prime Minister Madbouli also highlighted the importance of speedy disbursement of compensation for those entitled. The Libyan neighbors meeting in Algeria continued for a second day on Tuesday. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri reiterated that during the meeting, Cairo stand backing holding elections according to schedule on the 24th of December. Addressing the meeting, the UN envoy to Libya, Jan Cuba, said that on Monday that time was pressing for Libyans to finalize the legal framework for elections to be held on time in December. The two-day ministerial meeting is aimed at helping Libyans achieve national reconciliation and draw a roadmap for organizing the polls. Kubas on Monday said that Libya's unity government, backed by the UN, has allocated the necessary budget for the elections.
Egypt expressed its strong condemnation of the Houthis targeting Abha airport in Saudi Arabia. Foreign Ministry officials stressed Egypt's firm position in supporting the Saudi Kingdom in the face of the continuation of terrorist acts. The coalition support legitimacy in Yemen. Officials said that eight people were injured in the attack and civilian planes was damaged in Abha airport in Saudi Arabia.